Well, all right, y'all. Here's the latest and the greatest information about entering Thailand. Shout out to the Tiger, my favorite source of news from here in Thailand. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 has now been confirmed in 71 out of Thailand's 77 provinces as of Sunday. The CCSA also announced that their modeling predicted that COVID-19 would be finally downgraded to endemic status in about a year. Make sure to check out thetiger.com for all the latest information, because I'm tired of you guys asking me. Starting today, some entry restrictions lifted for people traveling to Thailand from countries in Africa. Travelers from countries in Africa who have been earlier approved to enter through the Alternative Quarantine Program can now apply to enter under the more relaxed sandbox entry programs, which allows travelers to roam freely around four provinces or districts rather than having to isolate at a hotel. Early on, after the initial emergence of the Omicron variant, the Thai government set emergency orders suspending the issuance of the Thailand passes to people from eight African countries considered to be at high risk of the strain and impose a 14-day quarantine on arrivals from all other African countries. The CCSA recently decided to lift those restrictions and travelers from African countries are now subject to the standard entry requirements for international arrivals. Fully vaccinated travelers can either undergo a seven-day quarantine period at a certified alternative quarantine hotel or resort or enter under the sandbox scheme where they can stay in Phuket, three islands in Suratani, Krabi, or Panga. Unvaccinated travelers must undergo a full 10-day quarantine. Unvaccinated travelers must undergo a full 10-day quarantine. Unvaccinated travelers must undergo a full 10-day quarantine. Now remember, this news can change at the drop of a dime. You know, like they do in The Wiz. An announcement from the great and powerful Oz. I thought it over and green is dead. Till I changed my mind, the color's red. So, check out the tiger.com to get the latest and the greatest info. And in my news reporter voice, let's pass it to you, Natty. As a side note, registration for the four sandbox areas are open again today for anyone wanting to register under the Thailand Past. The Test and Go program is currently suspended. If you want to join the Phuket Sandbox, you're required to fly directly into Phuket Airport. You won't be able to transit in Bangkok. But to join the Samui, Got Pangan, and Got Tao sandbox, you can transit in Bangkok, but you will have to have both the flights to Bangkok and then onward to Samui made in the same booking. Only Bangkok Airways is flying from Bangkok to Samui at this time. For people wanting to join the Pangan sandboxes, you will fly into Phuket as well and then transfer by car or van, which will be organized by your shop plus hotel. Panga is 30 minutes north of Phuket and Krabi, about a three-hour drive. Thailand Pass registrations reopen today for the four sandboxes or alternative quarantine programs if you wish to enter Thailand through a different port. Well, there you have it. That's the latest and the greatest news on entering Thailand this January 11, 2022. You know what I'm about to say. Theme music! Zoom to Thailand, hope you coming too. Uh -huh. Richie Mac, travel OG yeah. with celebrity interviews. Get your passport, let's go. let's go. This is what you need for show. Brothers in Thailand, and bikini babes at the beach. If you need more, he got it popping. Caddy of the day, we golfing. Really ain't a better option. Time to travel, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's connect. Uh, Richie Mac, yeah, we steady vibing. Take a journey, let's get moving. Cause we zooming right to Thailand. Hey, Richie Mac, travel OG, let's go. This is Tracy Sherelle Jones, and you are watching Zoom to Thailand. And don't forget to hit the like button.